Okay, we're going to begin, and ladies and gentlemen, would you stand and welcome Mr. and Mrs. Kate and Nick Dable.
uh, folks, before we uh, before we have a buffet, I'd like to uh, again I'd like to uh, ask the mother of the bride, Lori, to come up. She had she wants to say a few words.
head full of black hair. And as she grew, she continued to be more beautiful, and not just on the outside, but the inside as well. I've heard many people say of Kate, she has a heart of gold. And she truly does. And here we are today, on a wedding day. And I can't help but wonder where all the time has gone. It's every mother's dream to see their daughter marry a good, strong, and kind man. And I honestly believe there's no better man for my daughter than him. I've been truly blessed. My oldest daughter, Christy, married Glazier. And he is as much a son to me as one of my own could be. And I have the same feeling for Nate as well. It fills my heart with great pride to see my beautiful daughter want such a small, sweet baby, now a woman, a beautiful young woman, and now a wife. When a woman gives birth to her daughter, she has dreams, goals, and aspirations for that precious little girl. Katie, you have lived up to everything I could have ever hoped and wanted for you. Such a lot has happened throughout her life, and I can pretty much say, and I'm sure Kate will agree, we can do it all together. We have been quite a team. Kate was my slammer buddy, our hometown hockey team. We cheered, woohoo, and even went on the fan bus to different towns the team played at and made a ball together. We had one notable trip to Fredericton to see part of the hockey team, but I'll say any more on that, right, Kate? No. <laughs> The one thing Kate and I love to do, and still do, is our drives. They range anywhere from midnight through to any time during the day, any day, or any night of the week. We solve many immense life's events on those drives, and we still do. If there was a roadblock or siren going, we were there, right, Kate? Oh, we were there. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> I've seen us sitting in the driveway, lawn chairs at midnight, just looking up at the stars and talking. As all parents can agree, all those times are so special to a mother. I'm very thankful to say that we still do our drives, although the midnight sitting watching the stars has come to an end. My bedtime is significantly earlier now. <laughs> strong inner strength and self-sufficiency and an independent spirit that has served her well so far and will continue to. Kate, there is no way in the world for me to convey just how much she means to me. And I don't think you'll truly understand the depth of my love for you until you have a lovely children of your own. There is nothing in the world that compares to seeing your daughter on her wedding day, so beautiful and happy, marrying a wonderful man, surrounded by people whom she loves and who love her. This is the one of the happiest moments of my life since the day you were born. I'd also like to take this opportunity to welcome Nick into our hearts and into our family. Nick, you are an incredible man who brings life and laughter to Katie. You have made Katie happier than I have ever seen her. I am so proud to see the woman she is today. And I put all my trust in you to take good care of her, because I know you will. She can be a handful at times, as I can be, as Kate and I are so much alike. But I know you know that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Nick, for coming into her life and giving so much of your love and support. When Katie is with Nick, she's home. And I'm so very happy for both of you. And I know your future will be bright. And there is nothing more I could ask for either of you. I'm sure all of you here today. We'll all agree that you a beautiful couple. I'm so happy for them. Nick, piece of advice I will give you. There is nothing that can be overcome 
by one or more of the following phrases. I was wrong. You were right. Yes, dear. And I love you. And that really does go for both of you. Also, never be angry at the same time. Take turns. If one of you has to win an argument, let it be the other. Neglect everything and absolutely everyone else in the world over each other. As of today forward, it's about the two of you, two of you only. Remember it takes two to quarrel, and the one that's wrong, and the one that is wrong is not only the one you're all talking. Marriage isn't only about finding the right partner, but also being the right partner is not going to be A loving relationship is the best asset in anyone's life. As my advice, and I promise no more, you are two grown married adults, and you will make, you will make your way perfectly in your own way. Remember the love you feel for each other, and always put the other first. I believe you both have found the person to help make all of your dreams come true. Kate and Nick truly deserve the best the world has to offer them, and I know they are the best for each other. Cherish every great adventure you take together. Nick, take care of my precious girl. She's my pride and joy. And Kate, Please take care of my new son-in-law. He's the man I always hoped and dreamed he would find that he's become part of our family. Kate and Nick keep dreaming. It was your dreams and mine that led you here today. Stay exactly as you are and remember the love you feel today and the promises you have made. I haven't lost a daughter today. I gained a wonderful son. I'm so proud of you, and I love you both dearly. Congratulations, and enjoy the rest of your wedding day.
Okay. So they have already signed the, uh, the book. Uh, please do so. And also, there's some cards, uh, advice for the newlyweds. They asked you to uh, pick one up and fill one out if you could. And uh, they appreciate that. I don't. Where do you want to uh, take? Where do you want them? Yeah. Just leave them on the table. Okay. I'll do that. So just remind you for that. So. Again, the, uh, enjoy your uh, beautiful buck, the buffet is already put here. Thank you. Not so much anymore. At this time, we're going to call on we're going to have a few tasks to take care of, and that has to do with uh, uh, we have a few toasts and uh, uh, a few remarks to make. And I'd like to begin by calling on the uh, uh, Rod Palkey to give the toast to the bride. Rod. I knew right then that something special 
wants to have and I'm very welcome to the ceremony that we witnessed today. In closing, if there are a few words of wisdom that I can share with both of you, please let me this. The first to apologize is the greatest. The first to forgive is the strongest. But the first to forget is the happiest. Ladies and gentlemen, here we join together and trust the ride. And I can bring something to the <laughs> 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 Okay, thank you, Rod. That's good advice. A uh, little bit of advice for you, Nick, as well, is that uh, don't let her go to bed angry, but you're defenseless when you sleep. So. Uh, we're going to next call on uh, uh, Adam, or Annette, to say a few words. Adam?
brother-in-law had him when he was taking his undergrad at UMD, and he had nothing but positive comments about his teaching. I, I think Nick should take that as quite a compliment, since that brother-in-law is you now finishing his PhD in nuclear physics. Another thing I've noticed about Nick over the years is how important family is to him. Whether it's having dinner with his parents or grandparents, or going to work on his car with his dad, so I know, I'm pretty sure that his dad did most of the work on that. I'm just guessing at that. <laughs> Nonetheless, it showed the showed how important family was to me. <laughs> um, and and it, the importance to family him was invisible and more than just his own family. Um, I can think of countless occasions where he would come out with it when different friends were uh, planning family celebrations or even. Uh, even coming to support, support those that lost a family member. Well, that's enough about what I've learned about Nick over the years. Now let's talk about his most important accomplishment to date, uh, finding this uh, beautiful one to, to my left. Uh, the first time Nick uh, brought Katie around to meet the gang was at uh, our wedding reception in New Maryland. I'll be honest, it was a little hectic. I didn't get a chance to, to talk too much at the time, but uh, my initial impressions were uh, a very, very beautiful, sorry, beautiful woman who uh, enjoyed spending time with friends. At future gatherings, I got to know Katie a little better, found out where she was from, what she did, etc. The more I learned about Katie, uh, the more things in common I saw that they had. Um, uh, Katie quickly became a member of the gang, enjoyed going to the, the group gatherings and spending time with friends. And she too teaches, just a younger age level and a slightly less strict curriculum. <laughs> Family is also very important to Katie, uh, which is evident from their lovely new home in Woodstock, uh, instead of New Maryland being close to Family. I think most of the gang knew it was only a matter of time before the two would be engaged, and I'll be honest, the guys don't typically notice these things, but uh, I, I can think of on a few occasions I actually looked for a ring when we, when we arrived at a party and just get a hunch of the sky. So now that you two are married and are doing your new lives together, Katie, I've, I've prepared some tidbits of advice to, uh, to help you on your way with Nick. If Ben was confused about the advice, I recommend asking him after for details on <laughs> So the first thing, if Nick is mixing you a drink, buy all bottles of fire. <laughs> you should create a contact in the cell phone, clearly labeled white, just so there's no confusion. <laughs> Don't let him talk you into going to a chick flick because he wants to go. Maybe you say he wants to go, not that you want to go, he'll go with you. <laughs> if you're competitive with playing video games, I recommend practicing your singing for a rock band and your dancing for Just Dance, because he's the champ. <laughs> Finally, always keep bacon in the freezer, as the whole gang will attest that one makes it better in the morning. Congratulations, you too. Uh, you know, it's my honor to and privilege to ask everyone to raise their glass and a toast. May your love only be added, may it never be subtracted, may your household multiply, just catching up to good guys, and may your hearts never be divided to make a cake. Uh, thank you, thank you, Adam. Uh, one other advice for Kate too, as well, Kate. Uh, when a guy says, uh, when you ask a guy's opinion, and they say, uh, I don't know, or uh, I don't care, really they don't know, and they don't care. So, so it's just a guy thing, so don't take, we'll take it all uh, Two wish to have the cake, the cake uh, cut now, and then they can prepare. And then after that, maybe Kate can get one. Say a few words. Okay. 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 Okay
Okay, three seven. Okay. Nice cut. Nice to <laughs>
And we were so knowledgeable to us to have a grandson in our family. And uh, I'd love to have you come and visit. <laughs> You've heard that before. But congratulations, best wishes, and don't stand to dance too late. So, well done, Mom. <laughs> okay, well, the uh, only thing I can take over next is uh, uh, the four way from all on. <laughs>
I'm sure they're going to pick up in the spirit. Love and gamble upon us. We would love to be here and see Katie and I together. <coughs> So I'd like to thank my mom. <laughs> I meet you in honor for the wonderful memories we've created for playing this life and for, for all the drives we've had from Fredericton to St. John to Moncton. We've had a lot of fun. But when we get together, when do we have fun? <laughs> uh, thank you for all the hard work you've put into helping us make our dreams come true. You have been absolutely amazing, and we both thank you. Uh, enough for everything. We can't thank you enough for everything you've done. Anytime Nick and I have needed anything, you stepped right up and made sure you were there to help us in any way possible. Thank you, Mom. Love you, too. Um, we've always been able to come to you, and we know you have our best interest at heart and help us in any way possible. We are honestly extremely lucky to have you, and we both love you very, very much. I am absolutely honored to have you as my matron of honor. You're not only my mom, but also my best friend. And when it came time to pick my drive seat, I actually had to have you in that spot. The memories we've created are quite something. <laughs> uh, I won't go into quite the detail, um, but they're ones we uh, shouldn't have ever done, but we did it well and are very proud of every one of them. <laughs> But there are memories, from our drives to swing our memories in Butterfield, <laughs> to Road Boss, to DQ, to Kurs, now that was... To police adventures, oh. those all the poor men, <laughs> to uh, art teacher experiences, to Bangor trips, yeah, we pretty much did it all. Their memories are ours and ones we love looking back on. We are two people in a pod, and that's right. We want to thank our lovely wedding party. Uh, my groomsmen played an important role in my life. My life's continue to do so. Uh, thank you for staying up with us today and for the lovely bachelor, bachelor party that you put on for us. Great time. I would like to thank my new for writing my best work for you. All I have to say is... <laughs>
You might look at it as my aunt and uncle. You both have traveled from Nova Scotia to be here with us today, and I can't thank you enough. You both mean the world to me. Thank you for being here with us today. It means a lot. I love you both. We're such a lovely couple. Let's have such amazing people in our lives, and today shows us that. We're so lucky to have found each other, and it's been an amazing day for us. Uh, thank each of you for today. It means a lot more than you can imagine. It's a perfect day and a great culture. So, thank you all for coming and being a part of this day with us. And we invite you to join. Uh, enjoy the rest of the, of the night. There will be a dance afterwards. The, the wine in the bar, of course. And please be responsible. <laughs>